Welcome to this latest edition of the Black Hole Podcast. Uh, I have my, finally I have my 23 and me results video ready. I actually did this last year sometime, but doing some other things. I said, you know what, let me go ahead and get this knocked out. Uh, but I would like to say this, uh, 23 and me so far, it's a better experience than Ancestry in a few ways. I would say uh, more more young people use 23 and me, it seems like. I saw a lot of my younger cousins, whatnot on there, you know. And it seems to be more international. I saw some people from uh, related to me from other countries, actually, too. So I think 23 Me. if you're just looking for DNA matches, perhaps, if you're just looking for user friendliness and overall experience, it might be better than Ancestry. Now, being said, Ancestry, if you're looking for research purposes, I think Ancestry definitely wins on that one. I discovered some interesting things with this one that uh, my ancestry test wasn't clear of my ancestry DNA test. A very interesting thing uh, I came across is that uh, the numbers are all the same. The percentages are the same, exact same roughly as ancestry. But what I came across that I say was the most interesting was the fact that uh, with 23 and me you can actually uh, scroll around see your different relatives from uh, different places in the world different places in the United States which is interesting in itself but also you can scroll back your own uh, your own results and see what generation that the particular you had your last ancestor from that particular region, which uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. I mean, I I would say I got I got some surprises there because I I assumed it was I don't know more more or less a straight line of West African, then maybe the European and other stuff came in later. That's why that's how I assumed it broke down. But according to this, according to 23andMe, it didn't exactly occur that way. It looks like earlier on it was more it was the more admixture early on. Then later later on it became more West African. My DNA became more West African. Which, yeah, I didn't see that coming. I thought it'd be the other way around. Yeah, so it looks like it's a not more so a straight uh, line you can trace ancestry back. It's more like a branch. I would say branches. Many different branches came together and they equal who I am now. Found that I found that fascinating. I found that fascinating that I was able to get that information from the DNA results. So, uh, yeah, it looks like from what I can tell from, from the generations it breaks down, it looks like it was a bunch of stuff going on. A bunch of people mixing, apparently. Looks like some East African, Central, Southern African, some European, Asian, Native American. Then later on, it became more West African, more West African. Yeah, very interesting. And like I said, 23 and Me. Has some different features and ancestry. I would say, if you just had to do one, now if you had the money to waste or the money, or if you were really into it, I would say try both, right? Try both. But if you had to just pick one, yeah, go with 23 and Me. Go with that one. I think uh, you'd be more satisfied with the overall experience. Very interesting, you know. I got some more research I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to reach out to some of the overseas people related to me. I'm just curious how they're related. You know, I started that process. So I just want to get some more information. I'm, I'm fascinated by 
generations and how people come together over time to to end up with uh <laughs> to end up with me, to end up with you, to end up with the people that exist now. Just think back on the people that somehow contribute to your DNA that you've never seen, you never know their names. It's weird, you know, because one day that's gonna be us too. We'll be those long lost ancestors ourselves. But yeah, that's it for this one. A quick little video with my 23 and me results. Mm -hmm.